Well, everybody in Canada who knows Omar Khadr, it seems, has a very strong opinion about him. Mr. Speaker, our government and, and many people in Edmonton and elsewhere were disappointed to learn earlier today that convicted terrorist Omar Ahmed Khadr has been released from prison today onto the streets of Edmonton. As a filmmaker, it's interesting when people have such strong opinions about a character who's never really had a chance to tell his own story. And something just exploded beside me. I got tossed, I don't know, two, three meters back. Uh, I got up and that's when I lost my left eye and my right eye was uh, pretty bad and damaged. And the helicopters and the airplanes started coming just wave after wave. The interesting thing about Omar Khadr is that He's very transformational. Almost everybody who he touched or whose life he kind of intersected with, he changed their lives. I heard about a young Canadian kid who was detained abroad, but there was not much information about him. I wanted to do something. I was just so offended that law could be so subverted. Dennis Ennius' lawyer tells this story about going down to Guantanamo Bay and meeting Omar Khadr for the first time. And he walked into the cell as a lawyer and he, and, he, and he kind of walked out as a father. It touched him in a way that I think he's always struggling with and balancing. You know, to be both a lawyer uh, for your client, but also to be an advocate and maybe even to cross the line and feel like a father figure. We have breaking news from Edmonton where a judge has ordered Omar Khadr released on bail. It's very rare for a lawyer to say as part of the bail conditions that he will allow you know, his client to come and live with him. It's taken too many years to get to this point. Why did the federal government go this far to keep him behind bars? Mr. Harper is a bigot. He wants to show he's tough on crime and who does he pick on? A 15-year-old boy who was picked up and put in a hellhole of one town. The, on their part, uh, Patricia and Dennis Edney's part, there was great kind of excitement, not just that he had won the case, but the idea that they were almost bringing a family member home. I would like uh, to thank the Canadian public for uh, trusting me and uh, giving me a chance. Do you have anything to say to Mr. Harper, Prime Minister Harper? Well, I'm going to have to disappoint him. I'm, I'm better than the person he thinks I am. All the time when he was in Guantanamo, all the reports written while he was in prison in Canada, all kind of point to the fact that he's a particularly kind of thoughtful, normal guy, verging on boring. <laughs> so that's one of the basic skills I went to learn is how to open my window. <laughs> he is very reluctant to talk to the media. He's been in the spotlight his entire or half of his life. And the only thing he craves is anonymity. Now, he's no dummy. He knows that for the rest of his life, his notoriety, his name, will follow him, will haunt him. He will never be able to be a regular person. Um, and yet that is what he craves. I don't wish people to love me. I don't wish people to hate me. I just wish for people to just give me a chance.